Hey everyone, I just want to show you a quick tutorial video of how to use the calculator app on your phone to enter in data and how to get all those statistics that we covered today in class. So if you forgot or if you missed anything, this is a good reference tool for you to use while completing your homework or any additional assignments. So we are going to use the data set in one of our problems from our note packet and we are going to go ahead and type in all pieces into our calculator and let the calculator do all the work for us instead of us doing it by hand. So I am gonna go ahead and hit the stat button on my graphing calculator, which is below the delete button. It's next to the X button in the sec or a third row, I should say from the top. And right away, you're gonna click that first option edit and you're gonna edit your row of data and put in the new pieces. Some of you might already have information in this column, so you're gonna hit the delete button to delete any piece of information you don't want so that the whole thing is clear and you wanna make sure you're in L1 and then you're gonna type in those pieces of data by typing in the number and hitting enter. Say you type in something by mistake, you can go back up and then you can just have it highlighted and retype it in, hit enter and fix it. And you should have eight pieces of data there. Once all your data is put into the calculator, you're gonna hit that stat button again and you're gonna scroll to the right to where it says calc and you are gonna calculate all the statistics by choosing that first option, one variable stats, hit enter. And you wanna make sure your list says L1. If it doesn't, you wanna, oh, let me retype this in. Okay, go back to this. Um, the list always usually says L1, but if you needed to change it, you can hit the blue second button and pick the one on the uh, one, the two, the three, the four, the five, the six, and you can see above it, it says L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, L6, whatever list you're working with. We do not have a frequency list right now, so just L1 is going to be good. Hit enter, and all the data pops up. So that first number, you're gonna scroll up to the top, and it says X equals 122. That is going to represent our mean. So our mean is that first number, so that the average is 122. Um, a lot of that other information we are not gonna use. We will use standard deviation. That is represented by S of X. So if I was asking about the standard deviation, I would say it is 29.11. You can see the minimum, you can see quartile one. I'll write all of it down. So the minimum is 104. Q1 is also 104. Then we have median, MED, 111. Quartile three, 126.5. And the maximum is 189. So all that data is given to us right there. Um, from there, we can find the range, max minus min. We can find the IQR, Q3 minus Q1. The only one that it doesn't provide us with is the mode. The mode, though, is something you can see from your list of data. Remember, mode is the most frequently used number in the list. So that's how we would type in information for just a set of numbers, data points. Now, Earlier in class, what if we have a table, okay? So a table is actually going to usually give us a frequency chart where all the information is organized, but the instead of it written out as a list, it's written out as a table. So we would enter this table in just the same way we would enter in the list of data. So I'm going to go to my stat button. I'm going to hit edit, and I'm going to hit the delete button to clear out all of that those numbers. And in L1, I'm gonna use the left column of the table. So I'm gonna type in zero, one, two, three, and 11. 
And then I'm going to scroll to the right or tap to the right. And I am going to type in the right column. So we have six, eight, four, one, one. Making sure everything matches up. The table should look just like the table from the problem. And then we're going to go ahead and hit stat again to get those statistics. The only difference now, after I do one variable stats, is I actually have a frequency list. The frequency list is my second column. That's telling me the number of people had the certain number of accidents. So once I type in the frequency list, I am going to do the blue second button followed by number two, and you can see, looking at number two, you can see above it, it says L2. That's what my uh, frequency column is in the problem, what I typed it in on the calculator, hit enter, and now it's gonna compare all of that information from both parts of the table, and we have our mean, we have our median, we have our minimum quartiles, whatever you need. So, works so the stat button works for when I'm just given a list of data or when I'm given a table. Hopefully this helps and please let me know if you have any questions. Thank